The top five things you'll want to know in Google Docs. Number one, keyboard shortcuts for repetitive tasks. Number one, heading styles. Formatting a document can be quite tedious. To speed things up, use the following keyboard shortcut to apply common headings. Number two, alignment. When creating a document, having to change alignment can be time consuming. To do it a little quicker, use the following shortcut. Number three, find and replace. To find and replace a certain term or terms throughout your document, use the following shortcut. Number four, adding comments. To quickly add comments in Google Docs, use the following shortcut. Number five, navigating comments. To speed up jumping from comment to comment, use the following shortcut. Number two, how to delete a blank page. Four methods. Number one, put your cursor at the end of the text on the page before the blank and hit delete. Number two, highlight the blank page and hit backspace. Number three, click format, line spacing, and custom spacing. Try adjusting the after paragraph spacing if it's anything but zero. And number four, adjust the page margins. To do this, go to File, Page Setup, and adjust the margins. Try adjusting the bottom. Number three, how to create a questionnaire, the basics. Step one, in Google Docs, click on File and then hover over New. A drop-down box will appear. Select Form to create an untitled form. Step two, title your form, for example, Entrepreneurs in Success, then enter a description. Step three, begin to formulate your questions. Enter help text to clarify the question further, if necessary. Step four, choose the question type. There are many to choose from, such as multiple choice, check boxes, grid, even scale. For this question, we'll choose text. Step five, create as many questions as you'd like and then click done. To send your form for others to view and participate, click send. You'll be presented with a number of options. To view responses or the live form, you can click on either of these tabs underneath the menu. Number four, how to create multiple columns. Google Docs does not officially support multiple columns. However, there is a fantastic workaround. Here it is in two steps. Step one, in your Google Doc, click table, then insert table. Select the number of columns you would like to simulate. For example, I'll select two columns. Step two, enter your text into the columns. Once you're finished, right click anywhere within the table and then select table properties. Underneath table border, change the color from black to white. This will remove the border surrounding your simulated columns. Notice that you can also adjust dimensions, alignment, and even the background color. Click OK. And there you have it, a fantastic workaround for inserting multiple columns into Google Docs. And number five, how to edit a PDF. Step number one, upload the PDF you'd like to edit into your Google Drive account. Step two, once uploaded, find the PDF in your account. Right click on it, hover over Open With, and select Google Docs. Step three, your document will now load into Google Docs. This might take a few seconds or minutes depending on the size of the PDF and your internet connection speed. Once it's loaded, simply click on the PDF to select it and press enter or return on a Mac to enable editing of the PDF text. And that's it, how to edit a PDF in Google Docs. For more tips, subscribe to discoverbusiness.us.